What is up, guys? It's Paige here. So the Redskins have another depth signing. They have signed guard Jeremy Vucinovic, who used to play for the Cardinals and Colts. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content, and let's get into it. So, like I said, they signed Jeremy Vucinovic. Stay tuned for the end of the video because I'm going to show you guys that even though we're not getting all these free agents, why it doesn't matter and how we build our team and how Ron Rivera built his team in Carolina. So another another depth signing for the offensive line hasn't played in over a year. So let's look at his uh, just look at it how, where he played. So in 2018, played for Arizona, didn't play much at all. Played five games, started two of them, and in 2017. Uh, for the Colts, started all 16 games. So really a depth signing, like I said before. Don't expect much out of him. Possibly another camp body. We really don't know. But I think, I like I said, Ron is trying to build a culture. This is very important, guys. So stay tuned. for At the end, I'm going to show you all of his draft picks and how you build through the draft, not free agency, but... He's bringing out, bringing in these veteran players, and like Thomas Davis, Kevin Pierre Lewis, J.D. McKissick, all these players that uh, Cornelius Lucas and others to build a culture and players he knows are going to give their hundred percent and aren't going to be locker room problems and are going to build the culture because build a good locker room is very important and Ron Rivera is trying to establish that. So that's really year one. And maybe year two, he'll start going after some more uh, free agents, bigger free agents. Because like, like this year, we, we signed a lot of guys. We signed like 10, 11 guys, but they're all uh, low-tier guys. Like last year, we signed three total guys in free agency uh, for the first two weeks, something like that. So next year, I, I, I would predict that it's going to be around not too many guys, probably like five, because he's got the guys he wants this year. And there's gonna be they're gonna be a little more high profile next year. That's just my guess. So we'll see. But now I'm gonna go into Ron Rivera and what he did in Carolina, what players he drafted, and I'm gonna show you that the core of their team was pretty much all from the draft. So 2018, they drafted DJ Moore, first round pick receiver, has played very good thus far and helped Cam Newton in 2018 and played really good in 2019. So there's a receiver, 2017. They drafted Christian McCaffrey and Curtis Samuel, both great players, and Curtis Samuel has gotten better every year. And one thing, Curtis Samuel could be on the trade block. I heard rumors about that. And if the Redskins are uh, willing to chip Trent there and get Curtis Samuel in a fourth-round pick, Curtis Samuel is very good good compliment to Terry McLaurin and Steven Sims in my opinion and I think it would be a huge definitely be the second best receiver on our team right away so Christian McCaffrey and Curtis Samuel in the 2017 draft really good and then 2016 they drafted James Bradbury and Daryl Worley both cornerbacks both really good cornerbacks Bradbury has a total eight interceptions and uh, Daryl Worley has five so another two very good players 2015 they drafted Shaq Thompson, great, great, great linebacker, and also an okay player in the later rounds, Devin Funches, who has played pretty good there for a couple of years, got about 600, 700 receiving yards in a year, so not bad. And then in 2014, they signed, this is a big draft, uh, Trey Turner, Trey Boston, and Coney Ely, so another very good draft uh, that year. And then the year after that, they got A.J. Klein, Kawan Short, and uh, Star Lutelelli. So, again, they're building through the draft. And then 2012, Luke Keekley and our very own Josh Norman. And in 2011, you got Cam Newton. And when Ron Rivera wasn't there, also they signed, they drafted uh, Thomas Davis in the 2005 draft. But if you look at the – when you think about the Panthers in the Cam Newton era or Ron Rivera era, you think about a few players. You think about Cam Newton, obviously. You think about Luke Keekley, Thomas Davis. Uh, maybe you think about uh, Christian McCaffrey, Shaq Thompson, Star Lutelelli. So all those players that they got, all of them were from the draft, and that's how you build a team. And I do think the Redskins are trying to do the same. Year one, they are trying to build a culture to help these young guys succeed 
And I think next year they will try to get a few more uh, higher profile free agents. But I do suspect that they're going to build to the draft. And you got Kyle Smith, who is a great talent evaluator, who's gotten a lot of late round talent picks in the last few years. And this year he's going to have full control of the draft. So I think with the combination of Ron Rivera and Kyle Smith, uh, making our draft picks, I think it's going to be great, and we still don't know. Might get another draft pick for Trent Williams. So as upset as we are with these low key signings, I think it's for the better. We are going to get better over time, and even some of these guys are decent. Sean Davis had a good year. Uh, Thomas Davis is one is going to be. I don't think he's going to make the Hall of Fame, but he's one of the better linebackers in a long time. Yeah, definitely not going to make the Hall of Fame, but one of the be best linebackers in the last decade. Also, we got uh, Kendall Fuller who's going to contribute right away. So we got, got a lot of good guys that can play. And I think I, as much as we don't, we didn't get a tight end or a compliment receiver to Terry McLaurin, I think we'll be fine. Going to try to develop our younger guys. I think our defense is fine. We just need to get another cornerback, whether that be Logan Ryan Rashad Bielan, Boss Kako, any of those guys I mentioned in my video before. If you didn't watch it, go watch that. But yeah, I think we're going to be fine. This year is very important and for our drafting and to develop our young players. And I think just having Ron Rivera as our coach gets us about two extra wins, just him and Jack Del Rio, because last year, our defensive coordinator, Greg Manassi, one of the worst defensive coordinators I've ever seen. Just having him out there elevates our team. And then probably the development of our young talent gets us another win. And then it's all, so that puts us at about six wins, right? And then the next is health. And the biggest thing is Dwayne Haskins' development. If Haskins plays at an average to above average Q, as an average or above average QB next year, we could win seven eight nine games but if you play like he did uh most of last year then we'll probably be, probably win five six games so that's just my opinion tell me what you guys think i do think that it is a little bit frustrating um but i think we'll get through it and drafting is the you you build your team through the draft and i think that's what ron rivera has done so let me know if you guys enjoyed this video also yeah this signing, I didn't talk about much of it, but six foot five, three hundred pounds is going to be like I said, depth. He's twenty nine years old, played for three different teams, I think. Yeah, three different teams. So yeah, nothing big. Like I said, we'll keep you guys updated if we do sign um, anyone else today that's actually going to make news. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Oh, also one last thing, Brashad Breland. We have not had any contract talks with Prashad Breland yet. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash like button and peace.